Hello. Today is Saturday after Ash Wednesday, and this is my reflection as we journey toward Easter. You can tell a lot about a person by the kind of company they keep. That's an old folk saw that we've heard years ago, and, and certainly many parents have expressed their concern about the people that their son or daughter hangs around. You, you know that. You've been there. But you know, it's interesting, the Pharisees are concerned about Jesus. You know, they, they look at him and, and he's hanging around these sinners, these tax collectors, these people who don't observe the law at all. And they're really concerned because at this point, it's still early in the gospel and they think Jesus, Jesus is okay. But why? Why would he hang around them? He should be around us. And what they failed to understand, but what Jesus really understood, is that even most people who don't get it right in life, who have a tendency to screw up, even they, by and large, want to be better people. They just don't know how. Jesus said, that's why I've come, is to help people be better. And it's not really that difficult. You know, we tend to try to make it complicated, but I, I really think that in the long run, it's kind of simple. That every day I try to do more that's right than what I do wrong. You know, and that's the constant goal. I'd like to say I never do anything wrong, but that's not true, and I'm not going to lie to you. But again, the important thing is not how much I've done wrong, but how much more I have done that is right. In the end, that makes a big difference. We're not called to be saints in terms of living a sinless life. We're not asked to, to live without sin, but we're asked to do what's right. It's kind of simple, this Lenten journey, that at the end of each day when I kind of look at my life, to ask myself, have I done more right today than wrong? Lord, accept the right that I have done, the good that I have done, and forgive in your mercy those things that I've done that were wrong. Amen. Have a grace-filled journey to Easter.